If you want to know about the greatness of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, see how the entire universe interacted with his martyrdom. The entire universe cries for Imam al Hussein. When you cry on Imam al Hussein, you need to realize that this is not some isolated event that you, as a human being, you're simply crying. When you cry on an Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, you are participating in a universal event. In an event that the entire universe participates in. Al Imam al Sadiq alayhi salam, in the first ziyarah of Al Imam al Hussein alayhi salam in Mafatih al Junan, what does he say? He says, and the entire universe, the earths and the seven heavens, they cried for Al Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Every creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cried for Al Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. And let me tell you more, even the inhabitants of hell, they cry for Al Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. According to the words of our sixth Imam of Ahl al Bayt. Now you may wonder, how is it that the people of hellfire cry for the Imam alayhi salam? First of all, it could be that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows them the truth about the Imam alayhi salam, and even the most evil of the evil, when they see what happened to Imam al Hussein and the greatness of Imam al Hussein, they'll cry for him. Didn't Muawiyah cry on Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam when Zirar described to him the qualities of Imam Ali to the point where Muawiyah's beard was soaked with tears? Who in history do you see their enemies cry on them like that? Other than the Ahlul Bayt of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. Even the inhabitants of hell shall cry for the Imam alayhi salam. Secondly, everything in its existence cries for the Imam. Because the Holy Quran tells us everything in existence glorifies God, has a, a level, a degree of perception. The Quran says everything in God's creation has some perception. It glorifies Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but you people, you do not understand that, you do not see that. You cannot hear them glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, even the inhabitants of hell, their very existence, every cell in their body cries for Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. And Imam Zain al Abidin, peace be upon him, when he stood before Yazid ibn Muawiyah in Sham, you've heard the story of his speech. And how Yazid called on the Mu'addin to cut off the speech of Imam Zain al Abidin. When the Mu'addin said, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah, what did Imam Zain al Abidin salam say? The Imam salam says, Not only do I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, but every cell in my body, my blood, my flesh, my hair, my bones, they all bear witness that there is no God but Allah. The existence that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created cries on Al Imam Abi Abdullah al Hussein for that tragedy. The skies wept blood for the tragedy of Al Imam al Hussein. And those of you who might think, how is that possible? Isn't this an exaggeration to say that the skies wept blood for the Imam alayhi salam? Well, when you refer to the Holy Quran in Surah Al Dukhan, what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala state? فَمَا بَكَتْ عَلَيْهُمُ السَّمَاءِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in speaking about the evil ones, the Pharaoh and his people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala drowned them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished them, then the Quran says the skies did not weep for them, the skies did not cry for them. I ask you, if it's impossible for the skies to cry, why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say that the skies did not weep for the Pharaoh and his people? If it's impossible, then this would be unwise for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to say in the Holy Quran. If it's impossible for the skies to cry on anyone, then why did Allah say the, scribes did not, that the skies did not weep for Pharaoh and his people? We have tens of narrations from the books of our Sunni brothers that tell us when Imam al Hussein alayhi salam was killed, the skies wept and rained blood because of what happened to the Imam alayhi salam. This is one small glimpse of the Imam, peace be upon him.